looking for something else and it just was perfect. So for me to move my family was a huge, huge deal and I miss my immediate family like crazy, but this is where I'm supposed to be. So I kind of just to give you a little bit of a backstory of, of how I got here. Um, and then within the L'Oreal organization, I was there for, like I said, 12 years and I was on several brands, mostly in the professional product division, which is hair. So uh, Redken, Purology, Matrix, Kerastase, Shu, Essie Nail Polish, Mazzani, um, Baxter, which is a men's line. So those are several of the brands that I represented and then in different distribution models, meaning um, Sephora, Ulta, um, the beauty supply store where stylists go to buy their products, the distribution from the sales consultant, um, Salon Centric, BSG. So it was like I was kind of all over within the L'Oreal organization, but within sales. So sales was truly my passion. So, and you can kind of see that's what your MVP really does. I mean, yes, you get to see us do lives and you get to see us you know, do all of the fun stuff, but we're really working closely with our global marketing team, looking at the launches. Um, and really, we've come a long way with even in the past year. Like I know right now we're having some back order issues with the foundation stick, but when I first came, like BB cream was on back order forever, right? So right. things are getting better. Yeah. Mm -hmm. My point is, is even within the year that I've been here, a lot, a lot of things are, are getting better and it's only gonna continue to do that. So that's just a little bit about um, me. I, I, how many of you have been to Unified? Okay. Um, I, I would love to see everybody at Unified at some point, and you can go anytime. It, you can be, you know, black status, and you, if you haven't attended Unified, you still can, right? Anytime you hit green status, you can go. It is such a great um, connection to corporate because you get the best comp plan training by Derek himself. Mm -hmm. You hear Melanie's story, mission, and vision, and I'm not going to tell you that because it's, it's kind of exclusive to um, uh, Unified. But one, I'm going to tell you a portion of my story. And I've been recently just talking about it, and I don't know why, because I never did before. So when I left L'Oreal, I had a team of 58 people, and it was, you know, it was like a bittersweet thing. Like I was super excited to go to Unique, but then you, like my best friend literally still works there. Like I'm gonna be at her wedding in August, okay? Um, Marissa, our director of sales and training, I'm with their vice president, I recruited her. <laughs> I'm like, just come to Utah. <laughs> great snack because Marissa, she's the dynamic, beautiful blonde hair, blue eyes, best personality in the world, and she is my weakness, meaning I hired my weakness. She's always positive. And it's not that I'm not positive, I'm always thinking about, well, what if this doesn't work? Or what happens? Like, I'm always trying to think of the next thing, and she says, this is going to work. Like, why would we not even think it was going to work? So she's my yin to my yang, and we need that in our lives, right? Mm -hmm. So that's why, I mean, she's a super um, close connection, a friend, and uh, a great, valuable employee on the team. So, um, one thing I, when I left my team, I said, what could I do differently? I'm going to this new organization, I'm gonna be working with all of these amazing presenters. If you were to give me any advice, what would it be? And the question was, they're like, and this sounds crazy to me even saying it out loud, they're like, Rachel, what happened to your face? And I'm like, what do you mean? You know, like in my, I'm like, you have a pimple? Like literally, that's the first thing I think of when somebody says, Rachel, what happened to your face? And it's kind of hard to see in some of the pictures and everything. And I said, well, I was in a car accident. And they're like, what? And I'm like, yeah, when I was 14 years old. I mean, I'm, you know, at the time I was in my 30s, I'd never even thought to talk about it mm -hmm. because it was so long ago. Mm -hmm. And I don't see them. Right. You know, mm -hmm. like you might notice them the first time you meet me, but after that, you don't even see them anymore. Right. So I'm going to tell you about them and how I got them because I ultimately, when I look back, and when I came to Unique, I hear about everyone's why. Mm -hmm. why what is their why? And, and it made me think, you know what, Rachel? This is your why. This is why you're so strong. This is why you're so determined. Mm -hmm. Because of that you know, accident and situation that I went through. So long story short, we were coming back from a basketball game. I was halfway up between the two seats. Back in the day, we didn't really have to wear your seat belts. Yep. They didn't have seat belt laws. Mm -hmm. So I'm leaning up with two of my girlfriends, and we ran a stop sign. What I will say, there has been multiple fatalities there, and there's now light, hmm. but at the time there wasn't. So we're in the stop sign, halfway ejected through the car, turned myself over. So when I turned myself over, I have um, over 5,000 stitches in my face and my neck, hit the jugular vein in my neck, I have a hearing aid in my left ear, cut my ear in half, cut my eyebrow, I mean like just layers upon layers of, of stitches. Didn't have feeling in the left side of my face for a year. When I talked, I drooled. And it was, you know, as a 14-year-old girl, mm -hmm. 
is very traumatic, right? But I was in I was in the hospital for roughly a year and a half in and out because I had to be there through the week mm -hmm. for all my occupational physical speech therapy. I had to learn how to walk again, talk again, all of that. So I think like for me, I remember, I have a very vague memory because I don't remember the accident. I don't remember being life lighted. I don't remember any of those things. I don't remember being on life support. Um, I was allergic to morphine, <laughs> right? <laughs> and I remember this, I, would, I, knew sign, I knew sign language. So I kept telling my sister that I itched. And she's like, Rachel keeps saying that she's itching, that she's itching. And yeah, I have life support, half of my face is covered up my little dripper right here. Mm -hmm. So I keep hiding it. Oh. You know, I'm like hiding it and I kept saying that I itched. So they weighed me and when they weighed you, they put you like almost like a blanket underneath you mm -hmm. and they lift you up, right? Mm -hmm. And um, at the t I, I weighed like, or I weighed 25 more pounds than what I normally did. And I'm like, something's off. Like no matter what, I didn't gain 25 pounds and you know, this amount of time, as soon as they took me off the morphine, they couldn't tell that I had rashes all over my body because they were black and blue, the swelling went down. Mm. So my big thing was to get off painkillers. Like that was my goal, was to get off painkillers because they made me feel funny. I don't, but I also don't remember a lot. So it was kind of like a, a thing. So I think that that's where my determination is. I didn't get to graduate with my class. I, you know, the things that a typical high schooler does, whatever that is. Mm -hmm. So, I had this determination that I could do anything, like, right? I lived, I had a second chance at life. So Rachel, what are you gonna make of it? And I just keep pushing and pushing myself and my previous you know, coworkers and customers are like, what do you do it for? I'm like, I don't know, myself. And, and, and honestly, that's what I kind of realized, as selfish as it might seem, mm -hmm. I do it for me. Mm -hmm. If I'm happy, everybody's happy. Yeah. Right. I'm happy, my daughter's happy. Mm -hmm. And I felt so selfish before when I worked for L'Oreal, I would never post that I have another trip, that I'm going here, or that I'm going there, because all my friends are like, how do you do it? Do yeah. you have another trip? And I'm like, yeah, I love my life. Like, it's like yeah, I get to go to a hotel room by myself and take a bath without like taking care of my daughter, right? Like, it, it, I loved it. I love working room service. I just love traveling, I really do. And I don't care what state I go to. I, I, love, I, am, I love to, Whatever they're known for, I like to try the food, whatever it is. So I felt guilty though because it wasn't normal and it wasn't common from where I was from, right? So I overcame that really um, quick within the past couple years. And so Unique helped me realize it is okay to be a strong, you know, independent, confident woman. And there is, the sky is no limit on that's what right. it is that you want to achieve. It's just how much you want to put into it, right? That's right. So that's just kind of a little bit of a backstory of me. Um, sidebar, I will tell you this quickly. And then I'm look at the time. I want to make sure I get through the other stuff. My husband and I met. Um, my husband has Harleys. He rides Harleys. And we were at a, a, like a local fair, right? Like everyone goes to the fair to get fair food because it's so good. And uh, he was in a wheelchair. So I walked up to him. And I was like, so what happened to you? You know, like typically, I felt like I had the right. I had the right. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I was in a wheelchair before, right? So he had a fractured skull, two broken arms, and a broken hip because he was in head on by a car. Oh, wow. Yeah. And so it's like when we're together, nobody even notices me. Okay. You know? Because <laughs> he has one of those big scars on his head. He's super handsome. That's Kenesha. She got to meet him. But he, <laughs> you know, he, it's just funny. So when you're with us, like nobody even notices mine because his are a little bit more, you know, because of his head are more prominent, more visible. Then, long story short, I had my daughter at 29 weeks. I had her early. And her name's Tori. I got a lot of Tori in my um, And she was born with hemangiomas. Some people call them angel kisses or strawberries. They're like the red rays, right? She had one on her head, her belly, and her leg. And then when she was six months old, oh, um, old and started rolling over, I guess if they start to bleed, they don't stop. Okay, so we had all three removed. So she has a little scar on her forehead, it's kind of flat, um, her stomach and her leg. So I was like, you're not even cool. <laughs> 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 Tori was super bummed that she couldn't be here. She's actually uh, in Europe for the France Empowered Youth that is going on tomorrow. So she usually flies in a couple days early just to get used to the you know, time adjustment and all of that. So that is where Tori's at, or she would be after speaking to all of you as well. So that's me. That's kind of how I got here. So I want to talk to you now about a couple things on behalf of corporate that we're focusing on. 
And you're going to kind of hear, hear this over and over and over throughout the year. You're going to hear it on live. You're going to hear it from your leaders. You're going to hear it from your, you know, co your colleagues. Everybody's going to be talking about these same, same things. And I'm kind of going to walk you through that. And so they're KPIs, which are key performance indicators. I'm not going to assume that you guys know what KPI stands for because I didn't. <laughs> What's a KPI? It's a key performance indicator. So these are the five things that we always need to focus on, but we're going to do it in a rotation and in a cycle. So last year was a great year, but it was like, okay, mid-month boost. We're going to drop this in. Okay, now let's have um, this LTO here, this LTO there. So you're going to see a lot of less limited offer products. You're going to see a lot less drop-ins, and we're going to stick to a plan. We're trying to really con condense things, make things more simplistic, and just more organized. So these are the five focus things. So when I say sales, that's basically you know your kudos. What is it that you need to do to hit your paid ass status? Because we're seeing that a lot that you're you know you've uh, achieved the status, but then it's hard to maintain the paid ass. So that's going to be a very important factor to try and really focus on your paid ass. And of course, you can status advance with, within all of that. Sponsoring. So from our marketing calendar, you're going to see that once a quarter, we're going to have a sponsoring campaign. So then you're going to train for 60 days, pink status. Yeah. 60 days, you're going to train to get them to pink, we're going to sponsor again. 60 days, you're going to train to get a pink, we're going to sponsor again. So that's kind of the whole flow of what we're going to see. Convention, and I want to talk to you guys a little bit about convention because, and you've probably heard some of the air for it, trainings and some of the different things about convention. By going to events alone, whether it's Empower You, Unify, being here today, or attending convention, first of all, it's a huge commitment. It's, a, it's great for you to understand, get the training. Like, in, in yourself, it's phenomenal. Now, when you go to convention and you get people on your team to go to convention, it's about $1,000 a person. And that is a true formula. We've done it with every status from pink to black status on what their average yearly income is. If you want to make $100,000 a year, get 100 people there. If you want to make $10,000 a year, get 10 people there. But don't underestimate yourself. Don't underestimate, like 10 people, like all of us should be able to get 10 people there. Yes. Yeah. Like, like that's a realistic thing to do mm -hmm. between you and your friends. And when we were at um, the Houston Empower You, it, yeah, I was in Houston. There was a, a, a several girls, I think there was five of them. They didn't know each other. They went to convention. Oh, was this you? <laughs> I've been, so I talk about you guys all the time. Uh, I'm just saying that. Yeah. 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 That, and now you room together every year? We're still rooming together. See? <laughs> and like I said, even with my experience with, you know, Gloria, you create these friendships, these yeah. lifelong, mm -hmm. I, I got goosebumps. Forever. Yeah. yeah. Forever, because it's true. So it's just, it's kind of like, it, it's just fun, and, and you get there, you get your presenters there, and we're gonna train them. We have some of the best training coming. We have, you know, not just Eric Worre, but how we're doing our breakouts and our rotations. It's gonna be top notch. And it's not just stand and deliver, like, you know, hoo-ha, which is great, because we need that energy too, mm -hmm. but we also need to have action items and accountability. Yeah. So those are the things that you're going to see. And every year we get better at convention, yeah. right? We get better and better and better at all of our trainings. Mm -hmm. So I just, you know, that's what I'm gonna encourage each and every single one of you. And the other thing I'm gonna offer today for those that are interested, and I don't want you to feel obligated, but if you're in a situation that you can do it, I am offering for to 15 people, um, whoever gets their ticket today, so whether you get it through your upline or through Kanisha, because Kanisha can help you because she's here, um, I will give you a half an hour coaching call. But what, here's what I'm going to tell you. This coaching call, I'm, I'm, I'm nice. <laughs> okay? I might come off as a sweet, nice girl, but we really dive in deep. We look at your elites. We look at, are you hitting your paid ad status? Where do your leads need to be? You know, we really look at your wholesale sales. And we look at everything, and it's more of a number perspective. This isn't a um, hands in the middle, you can do it mindset, one on one. Not that those aren't good, because they are. But I'm just going to tell you, if you meet with me, we're going to have strategic goals. There's going to be an action plan, and there's going to be accountability that comes with it. But I want to see it happen, though. So I, I will tell you, I offered this in Texas, and I have... Um, had several calls with presenters 
and I, I don't even know what happened. They are killing it. And it's not that you guys can't do plans on your own, but it was like we worked on it together and there was just some things that they weren't able to identify or didn't realize in the back office that, you know, it was just, it was helpful to have someone talk it through with them, right? Mm -hmm. And then we also know that some of your team members might not always be around, and that's okay too. That's why we're sponsoring every, uh, you know, quarter, every, the cycle, every 90 days, sponsoring, sponsoring, sponsoring. The people that are gonna make you the most money, you don't even know them yet. Yes. You don't even know them. So, <clears throat> we do set three personal goals, and then we set two professional, uh, three personal and three professional goals because I'm a big believer, if you're happy personally, you're happy professionally. Yes. So that is just something that I'm willing um, to do. I just, the only stipulation is I need you to get your ticket today. Um, and then Kenesha or, or your upline, whoever you get it through. And I think Kenesha has the bundle, the ticket price, right? Which is like 239. 239, so it's discounted. And then we will get those calls scheduled within the next couple weeks. Because at, I want you by convention to either be maintaining or have um, status ban. So whatever that goal is that we set, you know, it's really important to get your main, your maintain pay status as well. Okay, so that is just um, something I love to do. It helps me with the connection and it helps me understand what's going on. I've been going to several presenter events. Um, I've probably been to a half a dozen so far, and I'm going to continue to go to them because I learn so much by hearing all of you talk, even if it's in the background. Like, it, it's just funny, sometimes when you're talking about tips or tricks or anything, I'm like, oh, okay, you know? So it, it's good for us to be around you and have that connection. We're always open to feedback and suggestions, and a lot of times what I find out is we need to explain something better. We need to explain the why. Because we might know here at corporate why we do something, but we haven't ex communicated it properly yet, right? So we're growing, you know, we're, we're gonna get there, but any questions, ideas that you have, please let us know. You know, whether it's through Add Your Voice or whatnot, um, it's very important and your feedback is so valuable. We do panels all the time. I think we had a panel going on earlier, didn't we? Mm -hmm. You know, we do panels and we do surveys and all of that to collect all of the, all of the data for you. Um, and then influencer. I think I have an article. Let me see something here. Um, influencer is just twofold. Number one, Okay, so this is some of this I kind of spoke to, but I'll kind of talk on it again. Um, kudos customer tracking. So for instance, let's look at March for example. It's the Flawless Four. It's one of our best promotions. So I know that there's different tools and resources out there, whether it's the Purple Planner or what that might be, is really going back. So when we have a Mascara Kudo or a Flawless Four Kudo with the Touch Liquid Foundation, going back to that customer that purchased it purchased it before. Mascara and Touch Liquid Foundation are our top sales, right? Those are the two items, you get them in there, you get them as a loyal customer, and then that's also a possible um, presenter opportunity. But you're gonna see some cool stuff coming with digital. I can't tell you. Oh. But we started as a digital virtual party model. This year we have some really, really cool things coming out with digital that's gonna be extremely helpful. So just like I had to touch <laughs> that was a teaser. So we talked about the sponsoring, um, and, and then this is basically just Eric Borey's training, the Recruit 20 in 30 Days. I've listened to it twice now. Yeah. I literally put it on, I'll clean my house, I'll do whatever, while I'm just listening to it, because there are different things that you'll pick up at different times. Mm -hmm. And he really talks about offering the opportunity, your hot, cold, and warm market, how to do that without feeling salesy. It's just, it's really good stuff. If you've listened to it, I'm gonna encourage you to actually listen to it again. Because sponsoring is something that we always have to do, right? Even in the, my, the other world, when I was in the beauty industry, you lose 10% of your clients a year, no matter what. So it doesn't matter if they go to another stylist, they move, you know, whatever it is, you lose 10% of your actual customers a year. So that's why you always constantly have to continue to recruit. Convention, these are just some fun facts. This is what we just looked at the convention stats on presenters that attended convention. So imagine if you get your team there, this is what you'll see. You'll see 84% retention. It 350% more sponsoring from that presenter that you get there. 243% more PRS. So if you wanna make 
you know, $100,000 a year, get 100 people there. I use a, a, the comparison of $10,000 a year, getting um, 10 people there. This is what they're gonna do for you. They're going to help you set as advance. They're gonna help you get, do everything that you need to just by getting them to convention. Numbers don't lie. I have just a couple more things before I wrap up. And I heard him say before, you know, pink is the core rank. Kanisha said it earlier. So important. Pink is, you know, the roadmap to, to getting to black status. It absolutely is. We see everything once you get to pink, once you qualify, qualify for it, you understand more what's going on. Because it's a lot. When I started, I'm like, what's PRS? What's POP? What's, you know, I had no idea what anything meant and all of these acronyms. So imagine being a new presenter. I didn't even know what a kudo was. <laughs> you know, so think about these new presenters. They have no idea. Influencer. Okay, so these are the characteristics of an influencer. Develop an uh, independent problem solver, consistent, big vision, and create action. So I want you to look at this twofold. One, do you have these attributes? Do you do these behaviors? Then identify your team members that do. So you might do four of the five, and that's great, but what do you need to work on? You know, is it a big vision? Is it to create action? Whatever it might be. Look at those things, identify your strengths, take inventory of your strengths, and then focus on a couple of those other items, but then always recognize talent. Like I said, I, that's why I hired Marissa. You know, you always have to be out there looking at talent. And then when you have somebody that's more dynamic in one area than you are, you're a crazy good team. Mm -hmm. You know, you can divide and conquer and get anything you've accomplished at that point in time. So influencer is super important. It doesn't matter what status you are. Influencer doesn't matter what status, okay? You can have it anywhere. So those are what we're focusing on. We have corporate, that's what you're gonna hear us, encouraging each and every single one of you to focus on, to get to your core rankings and to status advance. So I'll tell you, I'm gonna open it up for just a couple questions and hopefully I can answer them. If not, I'm super resourceful and I can get the answer for you. Um, and I have, Jack, I don't know. Actually, he'll probably know the answer if I don't. <laughs> <laughs> so is there any questions you have for me? No questions done. Yes. Uh, those who've already bought our presentation, how can you earn a 30% increase in the Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> But I would just, if, if you're, you know, you, need, you don't want to go alone, and you may not even, the person you bring, you may not have even sponsored yet. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They may be your influencer, they may be your runner. But yeah, that's that's what I would do. Good answer. Uh, <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> okay, we're just going to go all the way. That's my answer. Okay, any other questions? Okay. Yes. So right now in our 90 day cycle, January was our sponsoring month, and so February, March, we're starting again, and April is also the start of our seven shows. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we're, are we going to tie those together? Yeah. I know you can't tell me a lot about No, that. and I'll be honest, I mean, I can't tell you the specifics for the incentive trip, right. but these are uh, corporate's initiatives, okay. right? If we're trying to drive these behaviors, whether it's pink and 60 or sponsoring, it's all going to make sense. Woo, great question. Yes. So on that website, when we are able to go back, speaking to going back to your customers who have bought stuff, I've yes. noticed that there's a time constraint now on there it. Is. So is that on purpose or are they because if I have customers who have gone back further but maybe haven't purchased from me recently, I've lost that in, that information. I can answer that. Yeah, go ahead. So we're, we're working with them to get that previous history up. Okay. And that's a known fact that trying to fix. A lot of it comes from the website update. Okay. <clears throat> so it is being worked on. I know exactly what they're doing with it, so we should get that updated here soon. Good. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> Any others? Let's take one more. Listen, I know you ladies aren't quiet or shy because my office is right <laughs> over here. And literally I'm like, I'm so bored, I want to go down there. <laughs> by the end of the day, so I'm like trying to work on it, but it was funny, so. <laughs> Sorry. Yes. <laughs> Okay, so the, and, and I think it's a great and it's a valid question and, and I'm 
going to be as transparent as what I'm um, in the loop of and what I'm aware of. Because I'll be honest, the first time I had a conversation or it was really brought to my attention was at BSR with Kenesha. Because I really was not aware of it. I know that there had been other conversations prior to me. Okay, so I didn't even realize that internally that we had um, Adriana and Tori and Jack and Shanice working with Kenesha. I didn't even know that. Okay, so what I will tell you is because I am the, the U.S. English Market Vice President, um, I will do my best, and my word means a lot to me, to be able to provide additional resources and at least reach out to the right people to help us create them. Okay, so I mean, literally, that was just in February. It is now March. Um, I think that we've come a long way in even just the six years. I am aware that we need to do more. Okay, so I don't have a probably the answer that you 100% want to hear, but we will we will continue to grow and evolve in that area. Thank you. And the side to that, and things that I noticed being with us for almost five years that we certainly have appreciated is, for example, like with Kudas that came out, having a set of dark products all looped together so that we can do with in our marketing. Yes. Yeah. Um, and so <laughs> things like that that are starting to be incorporated are so helpful and we are so appreciative that that's now yeah. being yeah. considered. Yeah. Well, and I think, too, that's why, you know, like even the panel that they had today, and they listen to that feedback. They take all that feedback up to Derek and Melanie. Like, Derek and Melanie read every panel. They listen to all of that, and they take that into consideration when doing product launches. But, like, kind of when I was talking about the launch calendar, we are, sim you know, simplifying things because we are a color cosmetic and skincare company. So, not that fragrance wasn't great, and not that the fragrance doesn't smell good, but I think we're going to stick to... You know, we're not going to have um, shoe jewelry or boot socks. <laughs> <laughs> yes. It's also a double-sided sword. We're also looking for leaders in the community um, to highlight um, this demographic. You know, you need to get to that leadership position. Yeah. Kenesha needs more on the same level, and this is why this is the first step. So if you want more to be highlighted, you gotta do more. You gotta do more. Yeah. 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 Yeah.